Hello and welcome back to part 3 of the Fiat G50 build. I have to say, everything is done on her, she's filled, sanded, primed, and to be honest, she looks really the part. So, I have to say, even though for a special hobby kit, this has gone pretty much much more better than the other... Um, Special Army kit I did the MS four hundred six, so I have to say it, it does look really, really great. I don't know what I'm going to say to it. Right, uh, just the painting stage anyway. So I should have really got the colour call that was before, and work it later. But still, two seconds. There we are. There's uh, instructions here. Now at the back, there's five schemes you can do. Um, there's uh, this one, which when I say this one, is because these these are both the same aircraft, FA25. Now I know what you're thinking, they're not the same, but they are. Um, I'm going to be doing this one, which is the box art scheme, and it looks very nice. I like the, it's got a two-tone version. You've got the finished camo, like three quarters of it, but on the other side, you've got an Italian camouflage on it that basically they just left on there. Don't know why, don't ask me, just did. But anyway, it said he did this aircraft, and then in 1942, I think it was, it's just have a... Turn it right way around. Uh, do 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 do. G fifty two F A twenty five yellow nine at Minimum Air Base as the machine appeared in March to July, nineteen forty two. Four victories were achieved by this aircraft. Later, the camera the aircraft received a new camouflage, which is this one. And it says uh, piloted by Commander. Cop P O P Puklonka at Chris Pacha Air Base December nineteen forty two. The machine was uh, particularly sprayed with heavily chipped black colour on the left upper wing hole oh sorry, half upper wing half around the 
National Insignia. Uh, moreover, the, the fuselage also bore traces to of the repairs and was weathered. I scored four victories with the Fokker D21, added 13 more flying the Fiat's and additional 25 with the Copper BF 109. He was awarded the Manheim Cross. So that's whose aircraft I'm going to build. I bet I'm going to build this one. Uh, as you can tell, this one's got the aerial on. This one has got just normal. The other versions, just going to turn them around for you, is completely Italian camo on both of them. Uh, basically, there's not much done to them apart from paint over the insignias, really, on these ones. But that's about it. That one. And then your last but not least is a full finish pattern coloured one. So yeah, I like the idea of the um the Italian camo on one side. It gives some more personal appeal. So what the first thing we gotta do is it's been dried over it's been dry over forty eight hours now, so that's one good thing. And we're gonna use light blue XF twenty three and we're gonna spray it using the airbrush of course. Uh, this is a brand new airbrush, so it should work perfectly, but I'm going to use that. Some retarder medium, and I'll touch a brand new white, so hopefully it shouldn't spurt out little white bits everywhere. But there you are, that's really it. So I'm going to go away, do that, and we'll start painting. thinking I've really got ahead with this it's because I was just so busy doing this paint work on the top here I just completely forgot to record it and anything. anyway I've done the spraying on the yellow we're going to see how it turns out now it's first, first time I've properly and hopefully really well masked something like this so please, please, in the love of God, let's have a look how good this is. So far, so good. Even better. Just a touch there. Okay. Let's have a go and see. Oh, wow. Look at that nice solid colour. That's what I wanted. The only problem is, is it's a bit of overspray at the top, bottom here, just a touch, and a touch there and there, but apart from that, that is absolutely beautiful. Wow. Anyway, that goes on there. Right, the crucial thing, the aircraft. Take them away, put them there out of the way. 
Now these are going to be absolutely fine, I know they are. Look at that, perfect straight line. No overspray whatsoever. I'm actually li liking these spray. Like that. On the top side, all nice leaded edges. No problem whatsoever. That is absolutely brilliant. That side. The other side, I expect the same. It's fine. It's fine there. Look at that. That is perfect on there. Why am I showing that side of the That is absolutely magical. Wow. Right, next crush thing. Now, I know there's a bit of overspray here. That's good because it's just black. That's good. Let's see how we get on. Let's pull that away. Yeah, there's a touch of yellow in that black, so I'm going to have to redo that colour again. It won't take long. Take that off. Bit of yellow there, not much. But still. No, I don't want that taken off. Well, that's staying on. Okay, here we go. Now I did have trouble with this because it was the fuselage body on that. Let's take that off. No overspray there. No overspray on there. It's all good. Sorry if I took you out of focus a bit there. I was just clearly bring it up to my eyesight. This is this is going really really well. Right. Nice solid colour that side, and we go over straight. Ah, right. Right. <coughs> Excuse me. Got a bit of cough. Perfect yellow line. One problem though. Uh, just looking at it. That is absolutely perfect. No problems on that whatsoever. But, when I say no problems whatsoever, it's straight. There's two problems that I've noticed. First one being the underside here. Just a bit of a gap there, I'll just go have to straighten them up. On the bottom there, no problem with that. This side though, quite bad. Uh, I think you see there, we've got some paint run down there. So, that's going to be repainted black on there and also... I'm going to have to get the grey out and do the underside as well. Across the top here, there's a bit where it's run. That's going to be have to paint black again. Some touch ups on the green there. But apart from that, that is really it. I'm just looking at this diagonally. Now, I'm not sure if you can tell if that line is properly straight enough. But if I don't tell anyone, no one will notice. So that is really, really good. Right, that is that's done. Sorry. I'm going to let this paint dry now for over 24 hours now. Um, uh, what to do now? I'm going to finish uh, my dad's line, what he's asked me to do. And then once this has been 24 hours, well, I'm going to have to finish touch-ups first. Once it's been 24 hours, we're going to varnish it. Because I think that is the best I will get this aircraft. 
So there you go, that's really it. I apologise about the lack of um, recording, just. But, as you can tell, I've been busy in that. So I hope you enjoy the painting, so I'll see you then in a bit, guys.